Let us stand together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. We pause now to ask God's mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. As we celebrate anew the memorial of the Virgin Saint Scholastica, we pray, O Lord, that following her example, we may serve you with pure love and happily receive what comes from loving you. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. The Queen of Sheba, having heard of Solomon's fame, came to test him with subtle questions. She arrived in Jerusalem with a very numerous retinue and with camels bearing spices, a large amount of gold and precious stones. She came to Solomon and questioned him on every subject in which she was interested. King Solomon explained everything she asked about and there remained nothing hidden from him that he could not explain to her. When the Queen of Sheba witnessed Solomon's great wisdom, the palace he had built, the food at his table, the seating of his ministers, the attendance and garb of his waiters, his banquet service and the burnt offerings he offered in the temple of the Lord, she was breathless. The report I heard in my country about your deeds and your wisdom is true, she told the king. Though I did not believe the report until I came, and saw with my own eyes. I did have discovered that they were not telling me the half. Your wisdom and prosperity surpassed the report I heard. Blessed are your men, blessed these servants of yours, who stand before you always and listen to your wisdom. Blessed be the Lord your God, whom it has pleased to place you on the throne of Israel. In his enduring love for Israel, the Lord has made you king to carry out just judgment and justice. Then she gave the king 120 gold talents, a very large quantity of spices and precious stones. Never again did anyone bring such an abundance of spices as the Queen of Sheba gave to King Solomon. The word of the Lord. Amen. Thanks be to God. Our response, the mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. The mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. Commit to the Lord your way, trust in him and he will act. He will make justice dawn for you like the light, bright as the noonday shall be your vindication. The mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. The mouth of the just man tells of wisdom, and his tongue utters what is right. The law of his God is in his heart, and his steps do not falter. The mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. The salvation of the just is from the Lord. He is their judge in time of distress, and the Lord helps them and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and saves them because they take refuge in him. The mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Your word, O Lord, is truth. Consecrate us in the truth. Alleluia, alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory Jesus summoned the crowd again and said to them, Hear me, all of you, and understand. Nothing that enters one from outside can defile that person, but the things that come from within are what defile. 
When he got home away from the crowd, his disciples questioned him about the parable. He said to them, Are even you likewise without understanding? Do you not realize that everything that goes into a person from outside cannot defile, since it enters into the heart, but does not enter into the heart, but the stomach, and passes out into the latrine? Thus he declared, All foods clean. But what comes of a man, that is what defiles of him, which comes out of him. For within the man, from his heart, come evil thoughts, unchastity, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, licentiousness, envy, blasphemy, arrogance, and folly. All these evils come from within, and they defile. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Both readings are packed with great gems of wisdom. Wisdom, in fact, is what we are celebrating in the life of King Solomon, who was supposed to be so wise that um, in history, even the king, the Queen of Sheba, which is what we would now call uh, Ethiopia. That kingdom was vast and was not just the size of Ethiopia now, but a good part of all Eastern Africa. She comes to him because of the reports of his wisdom and his leadership. And she is so taken with him, she leaves gifts, but that's not all that happens. She also ends up converting to Judaism and uh, her nation, a good part of her nation, converts to Judaism. And perhaps some of you remember the history of, per, of about 30 years ago or 25 years ago, when there was an exodus out of the parts of Africa where African Jews, black Jews, were repatriated into Israel. And everybody said, what? Where, where are these people coming from? How are they Jews? Well, that is how. Their, their ancestry goes all the way back to the Queen of Sheba when she came to meet with King Solomon. The nation of Ethiopia, however, also received the preaching of Christ and became one of the Christian nations of the world back in the ancient times. And still to this day, the monasteries of Ethiopia are famed for being uh, places to visit for holiness and great wisdom. Today, we celebrate St. Scholastica. She, along with her brother, St. Benedict, were the founders of the monasticism of the Western Church. In our time, the Benedictines were founded by St. Benedict and St. Scholastica founded the female version of that and the monasteries grew and the wisdom from the monasteries brought education and restoration of wisdom to all of Europe. We ask the Lord to help us to also grow in wisdom, not simply to become smart or intelligent, but to be wise wise in the ways of the Lord. Let us stand to pray. Trusting in our God who created us, we bring our prayers before him, that the church may continue to be sanctified and strengthened through the transforming grace of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That the Lord may look graciously upon all who desire and strive for purity of heart, for the sake of their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord that all who have experienced violence or hatred of any kind may be consoled by the peace and healing of Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our that the hearts of those of us gathered here may be purified from every evil, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our for that all who have died may live forever in God's presence, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For whom else shall we pray?
Loving and gracious God, hear and answer these and all of our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed, be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Amen. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We bring the offerings of our devotion to be consecrated to you, O Lord, in commemoration of blessed Saint Scholastica, for by the consolation you give us in this life, you show that we should not lose hope of what is promised for all eternity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through your beloved Son, Jesus the Christ. For you are praised in the company of the saints, and in crowning their merits you crown your own gifts, by their way of life, you offered us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, sure support. So that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Jesus the Lord. And so with angels and archangels and with the great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope,
Francis, our bishop, and all the men and women who serve the church. <clears throat> Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced for eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. In confidence, we pray now together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Renewed, O Lord, at the wellsprings of salvation, we humbly entreat you that through the intercession of blessed Saint Scholastica, holding more closely day by day to Christ, we may merit to be co-heirs into his kingdom of grace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Have a good day, all. Good day. Good day.